Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here and welcome back to Solo Learn Everyone Can Code. This is introduction to C++ programming. We are on part four. So I'm going to go in here and do, uh, we're going to take this course and um, so let's go ahead and uh, go back to where we are. Let me go to my profile and uh, we'll keep going with C++ and uh, let's go ahead and open the course. Okay, initializing. All right, so basic concepts. We're on working with variables. Cool, guys. So uh, you have the option to assign a value to the variable at the, at the time you declare the variable or to declare it and assign a value later. Uh, you can also change the value of a variable. So here we have two integers, A and we have B. Uh, we can also change them. Uh, so with that being said, they are mutable. Uh, next up. Fill in the blanks to declare a variable a of type int and then assign it assign seven uh, as its value. So int a is our um, assignment uh, line and then we'll say a is set equal to seven. Okay, let's run that. Uh, user input. So to enable the user to input a value, use cin, which is used to read from the standard input device which is usually the keyboard in combination with the extraction operator. The variable containing the extract data follows the operator. The following example shows how to accept user input and store it in the num variable. So we declare an int called num, and then we use this um, sort of input object, and we write onto that stream the num. So as with CUOT, extractions on CIN can be chained to request more than one input in a single statement. So here we go, A and then B. Cool. Um, so what is the purpose of CIN? Okay, so it's to take information data from the user. Awesome. So here's a simple program that prompts the user to input a number and stores it in the variable A. So we include the IO stream, we use the standard namespace, we create our main method, which is the entry point for our console application. And then we declare a variable int A, um, and here we use the COT to write out to the standard output, please enter a number, and then uh, we pick up on that line um, and store, this is like a console.read line, and we store whatever, in there, whatever is in there in this uh, int uh, a value, and then finally we're gonna return zero. Okay, so when the program runs, it displays the message, please enter a number, and then it waits for the user to enter the number and, presses, and press enter or return. The enter number is stored in the variable a. So the program, one, one important thing to note, the program will wait for as long as the, user, as the user needs to type in the number. Cool. So type in the code that allows for entering a number and storing it in the variable. So that's CIN. Let's go ahead and run that. Cool. Uh, you can accept user input multiple times throughout the program. So a similar sort of program here. We're just, you know, we're getting the value of the read line. Cool. Uh, so fill in the blanks to declare a variable of type int, enter a value, and store it in the variable var. Okay. So here we're writing to that stream, and then uh, we're going to do, um, let me go back real quick, working with variables. We're going to do, yeah, sorry, the CIN. So we're going to do CO2 or CO, COUT and then CIN to write to, to the standard output. Awesome. So let's create a program that accepts the inputs of two numbers and prints their sum. So we're going to build this application ourselves in a second, but let's sort of look at it. So uh, we're getting our numbers, we're storing them, and then we're summing them up. And uh, finally, we are printing this to the stream. Cool, guys. So let's uh, fill in the missing parts of the code to declare sum as a variable, assign it to the value 21 plus 7, and print out its value. Okay, so uh, let's store... Um, assign it to the value 21 plus 7 okay and cot and then we'll say sum is equal to sum and then we'll end line cool all right guys so that's it for working with variables so let's go ahead and build this application for ourselves make sure we understand these core concepts in c++ so i'm going to change directory in my desktop and i'm going to make a directory called um what's this, what should i call it uh variables change directory into there and I'm going to touch a variables.cpp and then I'm going to use sublime text to open this and because we're writing C++ code what we need to do we're going to include the IO stream uh, 
we're going to use the namespace standard. Um, and then we're going to create our application right here. Um, it's going to be int of main, sorry. And uh, inside of here, at the very end, we're going to return zero. Let's go ahead and create a variable int sum. And we'll set that to zero initially. And then um, we're going to out we're gonna output to our uh, to our console real quick. So let me go back to the final and just make sure I got it. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. So let's not look at that anymore. So we're gonna have int sum, and we're gonna have int a go zero, and or actually we'll just say int a and b, and uh, so what they did. Yeah. Int a and b, and uh, finally we can get this data by doing um, account. Let me make sure I got this right. Count, enter a number, and then CIN. Okay, so we could do count, and then we could do enter. Please enter a number. This is like a prompt. And then to read the value of that line, we can do CIN, and then we're going to input this into this bin. And then all we're going to input or we're going to take whatever is on that read line and give it to A. And then we'll do count. Please enter a number again. And uh, we'll read that data. C I N B. And then finally, we will output to the console uh, the number you, the sum of the two numbers is. Well, actually, down here we'll do. And we'll do sum is equal to a plus b, and then let me see, make sure I can, okay, and then we'll do sum. So let's go ahead and try and run our program. So we need to compile it, so we'll do g plus plus variables dot cp, okay, uh, let me make sure I got this right, int main, oh my bad, missed the braces right there, okay, so let's, let me try that one more time, awesome. And now we have this out file, so let's uh, let's run it. Please enter a number. Okay, so I want to pick five. Please enter number ten. And it says the sum of the two numbers is fifteen. So we successfully created our first um, sort of input application in the console with C plus plus. Awesome guys. So that's it for this video. Uh, that was part four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.